Hi, um, everyone. Uh, just a quick test here. So I've got with me the boat and mass cable again. So first of all, to establish a fact, for any cable to be able to offer display functionality, that cable must have a minimum of uh, 10 gigabyte per second bandwidth of data speed. So that is the cable plug into the computer there. So I'm just going to put that here to see now with the display onto the um, the screen uh, onto the monitor. So I'm using a, um, an ASR one. So that's there. So I'm just going to try to drag this to the other side just to, to have that reflex. So we've got that. So I'll be posting another video where we actually tested the power and then also the, the data speed itself in the in the real life. So however, because I don't have an heavy uh, power testing machine here and I've also, I've, I can't find my little, um, uh, little power uh, meter testing kits. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these uh, awesome boys. So which are the Volta Max Go uh, power banks because they've got all this power reading as well. So I can actually use them to be able to do some power testing. So for now, so that's what I've got here. So I'm plugging this now into power here. So that's gone in. And then with me, I've got an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is a USB-C port. Uh, that tip and then I've also got an iPhone 14 Pro Max as well. So that's also USB uh, Sorry lightning tip. So now we can see the kind of power that we've got. So both phones have been um, Both phones are below 20% so this is 15% there So I'm going to put that there and then let's see how that goes with the charging to see what the wattage of the power that is actually flowing through the cable into the iPhone so it's for us to be able to see what power we've got so here it is so as you can see there that's 27 worth of uh, wattage of, of that is that the cable uh, that the phone is actually drawing from the power bank using the cable so that's that for the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max using the lightning tip so I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max here as well and I'm going to do the exact same thing so to see how much of um, power the cable is drawing or is able to draw. So that also is also below, it's actually at 13%. So that way we can be able to get the maximum 27 watt of power. So this happens only when the battery of the phone of the device is below, of the iPhone is below uh, 18, uh, 20%. So we can be able to, to draw the maximum 27 wattage uh, using the cable. So that is that now. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to put the uh, USB-C tip into the laptop and see because this is like a uh, this is like a 69 watt um, uh, MacBook Air uh, M2, so that is also at 18 percent charged. So let's see how much of power is actually drawing via the cable. And for us to be able to establish the 200 watts of power, we will need a a a device that can actually draw that maximum 200 watt of power, which I don't have. So what we've now done was we've now used a a power machine to actually be able to test that. And then we've got that, as you can see, that's actually up to 69 watt to 70 watt. So that's what we're getting and reading from that one now. So I'm going to stop this video for now, and then I'll post the other one, which will, uh, we had to use. Um, uh, I had to tax one of our engineers that I that is in China to actually run that test, and we did that with a uh, with an, a more heavy machine to be able to test the uh, 200 watt of power. And from that, in one take video, we showed every single thing uh, with the, uh, what's it called now? With the iPhone for, uh, iPhone 12 Pro, I think, uh, for the Lightning, and then also iPhone 15 for the USB-C. Again, because for the maximum 27 watts to be able to be drawn from, with the cable, the phone must be below 20% uh, of battery, because that's how um, the, the phone regulates how much of uh, power is going to draw using the cable. Thank you.